Hi everybody and welcome along to our slightly later version of the Saturday Live. I hope I haven't inconvenienced anyone by shifting it. It's just that I'm well aware that the people on the western side of the US are having to get up ridiculously early uh, to catch it when we do it at the two o'clock time. So I've moved it to four o'clock because it's much lighter here later on, uh, which is good. It uh, means I'm not doing it in the dark. <laughs> and uh, just let me know. You know, if it's really inconvenient for you, let me know and we'll have a... I did put a poll on the group, but this is real life now. So let's see how it works. Uh, and I hope it's okay for you all. Well, today we are back to the 12 by 12s and I'm still working on the Apricot Honey Prima 12 by 12 but I've so nearly finished it now there's hardly anything left of it he's a very slim chap now oh talking of slim chaps and fat chaps <laughs> uh, the fattest chap Mr Green who you will remember was our uh, January daily um, it was a technical drawing book authored by Mr Green and he the whole thing affectionately became known as Mr Green I'll, I'll give you a shot. Uh, I'll give you a flick through before we finish. But um, he's now listed on eBay. So all of those those of you that wanted him, he's there now for grabs. Um, I will ship internationally around the world. The prices are there for the UK and the US. But if you live anywhere outside of those areas, let me know and I'll give you a quote for the postage to there. It's um, by courier. So it's really, really quick. It takes two to three days. I mean, it's amazingly quick. Right, that's enough of all that. Let's get on with the exciting stuff. Now, I have been putting videos out as we've gone along doing various things. Uh, and the pad wasn't new when I started it, started on this quest. So I'll just flip through a few things that I've done. We did those um, four, four pockets, four... Well, four if you don't seal the back up. And I really like those. I love this one, actually. And they've got um, the tags in them. And they've got the old guns, a ribbon, of course. And they've got butterflies, because there is butterflies on the, on the paper. So there's two of those. So I'll put those in separate piles. Then we did these sort of library cards. Um, let me just check. Yeah, we've got three of those. And they've all now got two tags in them. And they've got a strip of uh, decorative paper from the pad and some uh, flatback pearls along there. So they, there's two of those in, in each one of, of these, all topped with ribbon and stuff. Um, so I'll put one of those in each one, leave one out because I can't spread it between two. Uh, then we've got, what have we got at the bottom here? Let's have a look. Uh, little notebooks. And there's plenty of paper in there. They are proper little notebooks. Uh, there's that one and there's that one. They're both the same, just uh, slightly different collages, that's all really. So I'll put one of those in each pile. Um, there's a notebook like this. A long tall one but I only have one of those so let's put a pile here of things there's only one of then there's this flip out which I'm actually rather fond of um, I was spurred on by Benice who'd been spurred on by me doing a diff slightly different project um, but yeah, definitely when I looked at yours, Benice, I thought that's what I'm going to do, a trifold. Um, and I just, Benice was doing a flower th fairy theme and she had the names of the flower fairies along here, which I particularly liked. So I've kind of nicked that a little bit and just put adventure down there on the middle one. But the tops of these are something quite different that I've never done before. And I do not know how they came into my mind. They just did. I didn't want to put ribbon on because there'd be three lots of ribbon out the top and it would just be a bit excessive, even for me. So I got some craft card, folded it over. I've got a butterfly punch 
this one um, butterfly punch and it says it's an inch and a half I think this might be the medium one that's not an inch and a half uh, and I just inked around it and put some pink paper behind the butterfly so it stood out and just glued it on I quite like that uh, yeah I might use that again at some stage maybe not a butterfly but you know something heart or whatever and that folds up nicely like that so I've only got one of those at the moment as well. Then there's this one that I've actually just finished making this morning. Um, and it folds out and it's got journaling in there and a little bit of stencil. I couldn't let it go without a stencil. Now this one in particular, I think originally, well originally, I mean it's a bit of paper folded in three so... Uh, I'm sure people have worked it out before now. But the idea originally came from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah and it came to me via Tanya at Tatty Treasures. She did a whole series of using Tim Holtz 12 by 12 papers um, and I borrowed, well, stolen, whatever. Thank you, Tanya. So it's Tanya at Tatty Treasures to give a, a full shout out there. And I think in time that will just sit down uh, by itself but in the interim, just to get it to stay there, I'll just put a couple of um, uh, a couple of these things, paper clips, which if you watched me whenever it was, last weekend or whenever, um, you'll know I have several paper clips to my name, several thousands probably nearer the mark. So that hasn't got a partner either, so I'll put that on the one-off pile. Then there's this. I like this a lot and it opens up like that and this is another one that I owe Tanya for um, it's just got two journaling cards in like that um, they need some paper on the back because that's just too dark to journal on um, but at the time I didn't have any paper Mr F's been hurriedly making me some pink paper so I'll have pink paper on the back and it's just the two journaling cards with Tanya's she decorated everywhere but this paper is so pretty, I really don't want to decorate everywhere. I like it like that. And it shuts up nice and flat. And I have decorated the front a little bit with a, a topper thing, cut apart, whatever they're called, from the 12 by 12. So I've only got one of those at the moment. Right, I think what we're left with... Oh no, hang on. We've got... Right. We've got three of these, and these are... These, it's got a, a tummy tuck on the front with a little card in that comes out, also from the, the kit. Um, and then you open it up and it's got journaling down there, a little collage there and a, um, you know, tag <laughs> in the back. So that's a, just a cute little thing. And there are three of those, that one that one and this one so i'll put one of those in each of those piles, uh, piles and that one there doesn't have a mate and then the envelopes so i've got two large envelopes like this that could also probably do with some pink paper in so i'll attend to that um, and I've put a I've put a paper clip on it because I imagine that will go over the edge of a page somewhere, so uh, it'll need a paper clip. And this one uh, shuts up because we put the thing at the bottom, and it just opens up. That's all right. You don't need pink paper with that. You can journal on that, no problem. It folds up like that, and then the point goes into there. So one of those on each, and then I've just got this single smaller one which also looks like it needs some pink paper in it. So I'm going to be pink papering lots of things. But these are really useful, actually, useful journaling spots. So I've only got one of that size, right. So that's, I've sorted these out then into three piles of lovely, lovely ephemera, um, which I will be listing. Um, I'll probably list it on the Etsy shop because some of you, I think, have problems with... Um, made me <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing I'm laughing because I can't remember what I'm trying to say um, and this is a pile of just single ones but I might add to 
to that today and then they can go into those packs of ephemera so let's put those to one side i know some of them need uh pink journaling paper in them but we'll get round to that so so let's have a look at what we've got left all right yeah somebody was just trying to remember what it was called and i was just seeing it it's yeah. called apricot honey Thank you. Apricot honey. And it's not the easiest thing to get hold of nowadays because I was trying to get another pad because I loved it so much and uh, I couldn't find it. So um, anyway, what I've got left, I'll put it sideways on, it's easier, is this, uh, which is kind of like toppers and another page of toppers and another page of toppers. And I'm not sorry that I'm left with these because... I do a lot of shabby chic stuff and I mean they just fit in anywhere so you know I'm not oh I haven't used the toppers without paper what shall I do this is one full sheet let's take that out because I'm sure we'll be using that today uh, this is the page that's got I think these are called cut aparts but I could be wrong uh, but you cut them apart <laughs> so they should be called cut aparts even if they're not so I've got one sheet of those, two sheets of those, and I've got some remnants over here. Then I've got a sheet of the butterfly, which I'll tear out. And a sheet of the real rosy one with all the uh, foil lettering on. So I'll tear that out too. And apart from the cutter parts and the toppery fried things that is that pad killed it is the end not quite because we've got three sheets to use <laughs> and i have also got some remnanty bits i've got that bit that bit this bit i've got you know some remnants i haven't thrown anything away I've kept hold even of all the, what people seem to call branding strips, but there is no brand on them because some of them got really nice pattern on, you know. So I've kept those in case I need them for decoration or whatever. Um, and I've got my sheets of pink paper, pink dyed paper. So we're ready for the off, I would say. I think we're actually ready for the off. So... I'm going to keep hold of these just in case I need them to make tags or something. Um, let's start. Let's start with the biggest one, which is this one. Right. What do you measure? He measures seven inches. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Well, I'm going to have to make them the same if I want to put them in two ephemera packs. So. Let me cut off uh, some paper that is seven inches. I'll use, which one shall I use? I'll use this one. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see all the foiling on it there, but it's really gorgeous. So I need to get out my larger um, ruler. I don't often have to get out my large ruler, but on this occasion, I do. You can't see my desk. I appreciate that. But if you could, you would go, wow, what have you done? And I've tidied it up. In the, I've got a new set of drawers down here. I used to, the set that I had down there has moved to over here. And that's got ongoing projects and stuff in it. But here, the top drawer is all the clutter that used to be on my desk. Apart from my scissors, which now live in this. Staggering, isn't it? Staggering. I'm staggered by it all. Um, right. <laughs> you might not be staggered, but I am. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, okay. Oh, yeah, it says so here. Okay, let's chop that off then at seven. Excellent put that away I don't think I need that anymore uh, I'm just trying to remember what I did here uh, right okay yes I also cut a strip off as well 
that was I don't need that go, go away please <laughs> this strip along the front is separate and it measures uh, two and a half so I need to cut a strip in the same paper of two and a half inches which isn't going to leave me much is it out my one sheet of paper <laughs> What can you do? You've got, you've got to use it. So I'm going to cut that off at two and a half. And that's going to be our front pocket. There we go. So that leaves me that. That's what I'm left with. Honestly, it makes me sad every time I use it. Right, so get your scoreboard out. It's funny, I was thinking earlier about the things that I would really, really need if I was starting out <coughs> and you need some <coughs> excuse me some reliable form of measuring and cutting in my case I use the quilting rulers and my um, rotary cutter but you could use uh, a, a ruler and a craft knife whatever you need some reliable method and I would also need a scoreboard because I score quite a lot so I don't know what I mean there's loads of other things scissors and glues and all sorts of things right so let's see oh there's butterfly there that's good that gives us a clue as to which way up right so this measures 12 and it's a true 12 I have had paper pads in the past that are not true some are 12 and a half some are just short of 12 and that actually throws your measurements into a complete tizzy right with regards to scoring paper and card card in particular you will have some card that no matter or it seems that no matter how you score it it cracks when you bend it what you need to do is score it so the impression the the down bit is on the side that you want to create the fold so for this i'm scoring at four inches Got a bit of something there and as I come to the bottom of where the card is on the board, I turn my scorer so it's more like the flatter bit than the point there. Otherwise, you'll tear that. You'll just go through it. And once you've done that, you've done it, I'm afraid. So do depending on the thickness of your paper or card, do it several times. And I'm scoring again at eight inches here. The measurements are along the top, starting at naught here on mine and up to 12. Some people have it the other way round, particularly if you've got one of those uh, trimmers that's also a scoreboard, usually starts at naught over here and goes up to 12. But in this case, it wouldn't matter. You're scoring at four and you're scoring at eight. Right, so we've scored that. I don't want this to crack. So this is the line that we've just scored in. So that's the indentation. This is the humpy bit on the other side. So fold it so as the indentation is the outside of your fold. Just fold it gently at first. Persuade it that's where it wants to go and then just, just rub it like that. And you'll find that it just, you won't get a crack. You just won't. So let's just make sure that this is exactly straight on the bottom before you, um, there's a word for it, um, burnish, burnish it in. Because sometimes the width of that score mark, score mark can make the difference between perfection and looking a little bit out. So that's that one in now we want to fold this one over the same thing the depression is the side that's going to be on the outside so fold it over Just rub it a little bit rub it till it's in and then you can press it quite firmly it'll be fine so once again make sure that's absolutely straight with the when you fold it over And press that in and burnish it and burnish it with the flat part don't burnish it with the point burnish it with the flat part so you can get lots of meaning behind it without stressing the paper too much 
So there we are. That's that. Lovely. Sometimes when you do this, it doesn't want to stay shut because this is just over where it needs to be. Um, I'll have a look at that in a minute. It might need a whisker off it. And with this strip that we cut off at uh, two and a half, just score it the same. Score it at, uh, and this is just for ease of use, ease of cutting really. Score it at four. Score it at eight. There we go. And that's us finished with that just now. So let's just have a look and see if this is easily folding down. It is, but I like it when it folds down even more flat than that. So I'm just going to take an absolute whisker off the edge of here. It's a shame because it's really, really patterned. It gins as in Mike's and the scoring board becomes a cutting board. Ah, yeah. You've got to be careful. So this is just a whisker. It's that much. It's it's a maybe it's a sixteenth. I'll say it's a sixteenth. And let's see if that's helped our cause any. So that folds in and that folds in. Yeah, that's perfect. I can now see that that ridge that we created by scoring. So you know that means there's nothing impeding this. So give it another good burnish down. Yeah, you've got to be careful, Mike. It, it's all too easy to use the actual, hold it like a pen and use the point. Don't do that. You know that now anyway, don't you? I'm preaching to the converted now. Hold it more like that and use sort of that part. But I guess you know that. <laughs> Right. And Dixie would like to know what brand of scoreboard. It is a. That's a good question. It's an EK Tools. EK Tools, and it came with this angle thing on the back, <laughs> which I've never ever used. I don't even know what it does. I've no idea. It came yeah, with right that. In. Yeah, I guess it's for scoring stuff. Anyway. I've never used it. Right, so, okay. We've got this that's going to be our inner pockets, and I'm going by the butterflies for which way's up. Now, if you were just to glue that onto there like that, you would get a relatively satisfactory uh, conclusion to your project, but not satisfactory enough, not, not for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down the score lines that we've made um, and I'm actually going to use my uh, I know I've scored them but you know you know I don't trust anything so I'm going to cut that at eight cut it at four apparently the bit on the back is for scoring envelopes oh is it oh thank you now I've got my envelope scoreboard that Leanne so kindly gifted me. Well, don't need it at all now. Right, so we've got those. And these are going to go there. They're going to be our pockets. But they will undoubtedly clutter up that joint and you won't get it to shut nicely. See, even now when you do it, it, it wants to stick out. So the thing to do is to cut into them. And I'm not talking massive amounts, just a little bit. So I'm going to I'm going to take the the middle one first because that's that's got a bend on each side of it. So off each side, I'm just going to take a little bit. Nat nudger is the technical term. Yeah, what Mr. F would refer to as a nat nudger, which is like half a nothing. Is how I'd refer to it as. Because I'm not crass like some people. <laughs> it's that. Is that a nuts nudger? In width, yes. Perhaps not in length. Oh, this is going really downhill. 
Right, so that's that end. So let's turn it over and do the other end. And I'm making sure that I'm straight along the top so as I don't go off at some uh, strange angle because you know my cutting skills are not good. Right, so that's the bit that goes in there. Now let's just test that, move those there, put that in there, that folds up, that folds up. Hooray! Marvellous. So this one is the one for this end. I want to keep that square down there, so I'm going to remove the little bit from this end. I'm sure you all know this, and I'm sure that for all of you it's a refresher course, but I keep saying this, and I think you're probably sick of it. We do keep getting new people joining the group. Um, and they honestly don't know about things like this. Why, why would they? Why would you know about this in normal life? So that's two. And then this one, this is a square edge. So I'm going to cut it off this side, the side that's in into the crease. The birds are really singing outside, which is lovely. And I saw my first lambs uh, the other day. So spring and, and daffodils, I saw daffodils too. So spring is definitely springing. So there we are, we've got our three pockets. Once they're stuck on, you'll barely know, well, you will, because I'm going to ink them, but you won't realize that it's not just one piece. I mean, that's, that's this one there. Okay. So let's get inking. So this is the tedious part for you, sorry guys, but it's got to be done. Uh, well, we've had an exciting week this week, really, for us. The chimney sweep came. So that's the first person that's been in the house since the last time the chimney sweep came, which is six months ago. Um, and... We had a road trip, uh, the three of us. Shady doesn't appreciate road trips, doesn't like travelling in a car at all. So uh, Mr F, myself and Bob, we all uh, piled into the car with some sausages for Bob to eat along the way and a flask of coffee for us. And off we went to uh, the Lake District, which was where Mr F was getting his um, vaccination. So um, there was nothing to do when we got there, so I just waited in the car because I didn't want to mingle with people if I didn't have to. But as it was, there was nobody to mingle with anyway, really. Um, so Bob and myself, we waited in the car. Mr F had his vaccination and we drove home. Uh, so that's, <laughs> yeah, that's the excitement. That's it. And Mr F's been fine, really. Uh, his arm hasn't been sore. My arm was sore. His arm hasn't been sore. But last night before we went to bed, he said he, start, he was starting to feel a little bit unwell. Um, so I was all prepared this morning when he got up for him to be feeling a bit rough. But no, it's it's gone. He's fought it off in his sleep and uh, he's fine today, which is excellent. I hate it when Mr. F's poorly. So, uh, so that's all right. We're all... All okay. Right, I'm going to ink around these uh, pocket fronts as well. So yeah, sorry today, you're not going to be learning anything really major. I just thought we'd have a bit of a chat along and a bit of a do something whilst we were chatting. Um, Jen wanted to see our wallpaper, Mr. F. Be when the fire, the firemen. <laughs> <laughs> fireman that when the chimney sweep was here he said that our fireplace was not being was not efficient anymore and actually we thought that ourselves for some time because we get through so much coal it's it's ridiculous and it's a very expensive commodity and it's not good for the environment either really um but we have no gas here there's no gas out this far so it's either coal or electricity and electricity well, it's just as bad, just more expensive. But because he said, you know, at the moment you're using three bags of coal a week and if you change, you, you'll only be using one, we thought, oh, -hoo. so we're going to get a new fireplace. Um, 
the one that we've got at the moment is let's let's just call it dated. <laughs> Do you remember in the eighties when um, stone faced fireplaces were all the rage? Well, that's what we've got. I'm just going to stick these down. I'm just going to use my cosmic shimmer. Um, so all that's going to come out. The wallpaper. We'll take that opportunity to uh, re-wallpaper that fireplace wall and give the rest of it a coat of paint. Um, but I can't, did I tell everybody? I must have said it on a live. A while ago, not that long ago, Mr. F got uh, five rolls of Edith wallpaper from eBay. And so I'm going to put this one straight up with the edge there. And hope I've taken enough of it. Let's just check. I think that's all right. I'll press that down. Um, so yeah, I'm going to decorate my room with Edith wallpaper. How good is that? <laughs> so uh, yeah, every night, you know, when a sit down to watch the telly I'll just sit down and look at the wall I think the one that we got is called tra trail berry trail berry trail is it I think Mr F what what the dog's nicking the biscuits oi Bobby he never used to do this you know he you could have left you could have left a joint of beef there and he would never have taken it but <laughs> But of late he's decided to pinch the biscuits that are left there. So I quite like it really because it gives them a real personality. So there we are. It's just the last one to stick in there. So yeah, that's what's going to be happening. We're going to have a new fireplace and new fire surround, new wallpaper, which I'm sure will elicit new curtains. So I've got to keep my eyes open, as has Mr F for some Edith Holden curtains, because that would just be the icing on the cake, wouldn't it? I could buy Laura Ashley ones, because they're nice too. I'm looking forward to only putting one bag of coal a week through the blinking fire, instead of three, I can tell you. Because it's nearly £20 a bag, you know, coal. So if you're putting three bags a week through, £60. Putting one bag a week through, £20. Huge difference. I'll just press those down. Make sure they're stuck nice and firmly. And then I'm just going to fold them in just to make sure that they're not being impeded anywhere. No, that's good. No, I think we're fine. Right, so... The next thing that I did was <coughs> excuse me, cut three tags. Now, what do they measure then? They measure six and a half by three and a quarter. Fair enough. Six and a half by three and a quarter. Let's put that somewhere to dry. Um, I think I'm going to have to use a new piece of paper because I don't have any. So I'll use this one. This is the same one as I used the time this this one. Or I could um, no, I'll use the butterflies. Really getting short of paper now. Uh, three and a quarter by what did I say? Six and a half. So, three and a quarter plus three and a quarter, six and a half plus three and a quarter is nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters, ten and three quarters, eleven and three quarters. So if I cut two and a quarter inches off here, I'll have a two and a quarter inch strip. Now I'll tell you I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut it at six and a half first. No, 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 I'm going to cut two and a quarter inches off. Uh, so what did I, what did I say it came to again? Who's, who was listening? Three and a quarter and three and a quarter is six and a half plus three and a quarter 
is nine and three quarters. Right, well, there's no point with that because it doesn't measure quarters. Nine and three quarters. So I've got my really big one out now. Good job I tidied my desk a bit. There'd be no room for this ruler on here. Nine and three quarters. So I hope everybody's doing all right. I hope those of you that have had your jabs haven't felt uh, too ill or anything afterwards. Um, one of our members for the sake of anonymity will remain nameless but she's going for her shot this afternoon so uh, she's on my mind I hope she gets on all right of course right so now I want to cut this at six and a half come back out I can use my smaller one uh, Kathleen's asking which way the butterfly should go I've cut them off I've cut it off down there so this it's 12 inches all the way around so I had the butterflies facing up when I cut that off so I should be left with nine and three quarters here which I am and then I'm left with this piece here which is two and a quarter by 12 obviously um, which I just thought might come in for tags or something so I've cut that off first and now I'm going to go crossways that way and cut six and a half off to make my uh, tags. It's all confusing, isn't it? Must admit, though, I really do like using these 12 by 12 pads. I mean, they do seem expensive when you buy them, but you've got no printing costs on top of that, and I like that a lot. Because it, you know, printing is not cheap. Buying your paper and buying your, all your ink, it's not it's not cheap. So let's cut that off at three and a quarter. And this one at three and a quarter. That should leave us with a piece that is three and a quarter perfect lovely right well i think it's about time we had a roll call really a roll call you say a roll call i see oh my has anybody been paying attention i ask myself julie julie marie indeed hello julie oh Roll call in a minute. Roll call pause. There's a sink post on the list is the Amazon driver. <laughs> <laughs> what could it be, I wonder? What could I have ordered <coughs> this time? Let's have a look and see, shall we? Can you bring it in? Thank you. We'll resume roll call in a sec. As it stands, there's only Julie being called to arms. Uh, right, let's get my knife out and get into this. I wonder what this can be. You all know that I'm trying desperately to get through my stash of 12 by 12s. So it couldn't possibly be anything to do with that, could it? No. Only an idiot. Only an idiot would do that. Here's a good box for Bob. He's, he's a bit like an orangutan. He really likes playing in boxes. Oh, and some packing paper for me. Excellent. Get that ironed and it's brilliant for collage. No, you can have the box in a minute, Bob. Not that. Good lad. Oh, how is this got here? How could this possibly be? <laughs> oh well look at that would you it's another 12 by 12 huh, just when i thought i was getting to see the last of them <laughs> not likely well that looks like next week's fun doesn't it or tomorrow maybe i don't know excellent let me take this plastic off because i can see it's shining on the light 
Then we might as well have a look through it, haven't we? Should we have a look through and see what's in it? This was inspired. It's a good job actually that you called Julie because Julie is the one that gave me the idea about using bees. And th there's, a, there's a bit of a design team project coming as well that is also about bees. So um, it's all fitting in rather well, which is unusual for me. Right, let's have a look then. Well, this bit on the front is loose and look at that that's just gorgeous as it is i love that um right so here we've got some washi which is kind of like the front page i guess so it's showing you all the designs but it's like washi um ooh, <laughs> look. look at that so there's one two three sheets of that oh then we've got this, which is all glittery. And it's little bees inside honeycombs with some glitter. And there are, unsurprisingly, three sheets of that. And then this, oh, that's lovely. It says, beautiful, be happy, honey, 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 honey. <laughs> Give me the honey, honey. <laughs> so that's that one. Three of those. I love that one, actually. Oh, look at this. It's got a sheen on it. Uh, and it's like bees and bee trails. Yeah, like that one as well. Oh, this is nice. This must be where they gather their honey from, their nectar from, to make the honey. Yes, and, and they're named. I, li I like that. I don't know if it fits in with a bee journal. It does say beekeeping sort of underneath, you know, in a layer underneath. So I suppose it does. Um, then this one, that's a stretch. It's a stretch even for me, but make a nice background. Uh, this one. Hmm, okay. This one, that's nice. Oh, this one. It's like a little little bee house. Bee house with all bees around it. That's nice. A bee house. Oh, look at that one. Ooh, I like I like I like the glitter. <laughs> Can you tell? I like the foiling. It's lovely. I really like that one. It's lovely. And three of those. That one, yeah, I like that one too, actually. A big bee here. Maybe she's queen bee. Maybe that's me. <laughs> and uh, a little... Me. The drone. Yeah. Is yeah. that what you're trying to say? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. F coming <laughs> trying to... Trying say... to say it, but not say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this one that's similar to the other one, but not quite as green. So that's okay. And that's the end of it, I think. Yeah, that's the end of it. So, um, yeah, now I've spoiled the surprise of what's happening next week, haven't I? But there we are. 36 sheets. So that should keep us amused for a while, don't you think? That would make a fabulous journal cover, wouldn't it? I'm sure it's been done before because this has been around a long time. So let's pop that back up there. Don't get too excited about next week. Anyway, where were we? Julie, that's where we were. Julie. Julie. Hello, Julie. <laughs> Dixie. Hi, Dixie. Gunny. Hi, Gunny. Terry. Hi, Terry. Kiyong. Hi, Kiyong. Roz. Hi, Roz. Kathleen. Hi, Cathy. Benice. Hi, Benice. I'm glad you're okay. It was Benice that had cataracts. It. No, was it Kiyong? No. No, who was it? Somebody had cataract surgery. Oh, so I can't remember now. Sorry. Kiyong's far too young for that sort of thing. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Michelle. Hello, Michelle. 
Joan. Hi, Joan. Pat. Hi, Pat. Carol. Hello, Carol. Violet. Hello, Violet. Jen. Hiya, Jen. Jan. Hiya, Jan. Jean. Hiya, Jean. Mike. Hello, Mike. Joe Ray. Hello, Joe Ray. Kerry. Hi, Kerry. Nancy. Hello, lovely Nancy. Lorna. Hiya, Lorna. Is this a better time for you, Lorna? Janya. Hiya, Janya. Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Sarah. Hello, Sarah. She Marie. Hi, She Marie. Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Model Norris Petey. Hello, Model. <laughs> Tiffany. Hello, Tiffany. Laura. Hello, Laura. That's everybody. If I missed you, shout out. Well, it's really good of you all to, to join me. I know we've altered the time. Like I said, I don't know how it's going to work for you. Let me know. If, you know, if it really isn't working for you, let me know. So here we go. I've put all my three um, tags for this together. I'm looking for my scissors down here, which is where they used to live, but of course now they live in my uh, scissor caddy. <laughs> in the scissor caddy. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I might as well make the most of it because I just know it's Alexis. Not... Hi, Alexis. How nice of you all to join me. Thank you so very much. And you've chosen a day when I'm not really doing anything. I'm just having a bit of a chat with you all, which is nice. I like those sort of days. Right, so there we are. Now then, for the very new people, this is my template. I have two of them. This one's out of obviously an old credit card. This is just a piece of thick um, packaging that came with something. And I've chopped the corner off. So when you want to make a tag in something, you just hold that up, make sure it's flush there, flush there, hold it up, cut your corner off, turn it over and cut the other one and you will have two exactly the same corners because if you do it by eye honestly you cut a bit here you cut a bit there oop not equal cut a bit more there oop not equal before you know it you've got no tag and that is the truth that does happen and this one's just it's just got four different uh, angles on it so I keep those uh, at all times they're very handy um yeah the wallpaper can you show Jen, please? She's desperate to see it. Which wallpaper? That wallpaper that that's wall. going on our wall. Oh, the wall, the wall wallpaper. Yeah. Now I'm looking at the back of these, and I really think that you could journal on there, no problem. It's not dark, and it's quite thick enough that it would be... Uh, Probably easy to show them in your book, really. I haven't got it in my book. I gave it to somebody. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Could open one, I suppose. Right, this is it, Jen, and everybody else. This is the wallpaper that's going on my fireplace wall. There we go. Could you what, hold that end out a little bit, please? Yeah, there you go, that's it. Edith Holden, Berry Trail. It's nice, isn't it? Do you like it? I do. Yeah, I like it. Good job, really. Yeah. So that's that. Be careful with the ends, won't you? Because we were bored about that one going on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't crash the ends of that, otherwise it'll be jiggered. And here's the um, the Country Diary Collection wallpaper border. Five meters, berry trail, it says there. So peel slowly this way. Okay. I mean, this has got to be, what would you say, made in the 80s? Uh, I'm just going to slice that off because, frankly. It probably says on the bit of paper. No, it says on the bit of paper, it'll give you a batch number and a date. I can't get this off. Uh, this is actually 1998. Oh, there you go. So it's 20, coming up 23 years old. It's quite recent then. Yeah. For us. For us it is. I'm just going to try and cut that. Just want to show you this border. I haven't seen it myself yet, obviously. There we go. Let's put the blade away. There you go. I'm not saying I'm using the border. Because I can think of a better use for it than going. Oh my. <laughs> but it's nice, isn't it? I mean, you can see that in a journal, can't you? Come on. 
Yeah. So yeah, that's what's going on my wall. Not this. How many of these did we get? Three. Three. Yeah, three of these borders and five rolls of wallpaper. There we go. Um, I'll give that back to Mr. Ev because I don't want it to get spoiled in any way. Right, come on, where were we? Let's get inked around these. This is supposed to be a crafting program, not an interior design. <laughs> oh, if you saw my house, you'd know how far from interior design it actually is, but there you go. So I'm going to ink around both, oh, both, there's three of them. I'm going to ink around all three back and front. Julie, you don't need to watch, you know all this. <laughs> with bells on but I like your company so feel free to stay I haven't spoken to you for ages I mean Jen should be happy with all the interior designs she wanted 24-7 <laughs> yeah watching us wallpaper yeah <laughs> it would be like a comedy program <laughs> wouldn't it yeah well, with Laurel and Hardy, I know which one you are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Somebody's playing near the flame today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using uh, Tim Holtz Distress Ink and I'm using Vintage Photo, which I think is plenty dark for this paper, actually. Uh, if you like grungy, if you want to grunge it up, use one of the darker colours. This just says quietly that it's been inked, but it's not been grunged. It's funny, you go through cycles actually, where you like the really dark inks. And then sometimes I like even sort of antique linen and colours like that, that are really, really light. I don't know, just depends what you feel on a given project. Often with Edith, when I'm doing Edith ones, I use Bundled Sage, which is a nice green colour. And I think it, it looks nice, actually. Um, so I always have to think about, you know, are you sure you want to use Bundled Sage? <laughs> but generally I do, yeah. Right, so they're going to go in there. Let's just check that they fit. Oh, no, they're not going in there. That's already got <laughs> pockets in it. <laughs> Here's the one we're making today. There's the dog looking for something. I don't know what he's looking for. So yeah, they're going to go in there perfectly. Yeah, let's just try them all just in case there's one that's too big. No, they're fine. They're grand. So let's do this thing that I did on the top. So I'll show you what I did. You might never want to do it. And, you know, it's entirely up to you because your projects are your own. But I had a bit of craft paper. Well, it's craft card, actually, truth to tell. It's quite thick. Uh, and I cut out three pieces that measured... Uh, well, it's an inch and five-eighths, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Um, by two and a half. But I think what I did was I put the butterflies in first. That to me looks like it's the medium one. I've got three butterfly stamps, er, uh, punches, in differing sizes from Granddaddy down to Baby. And I think that's the one that I used. Yeah, I'll pop those to one side. So, oh yeah, I think, I'm trying to remember what I did. I put that in all the way to the back, like that. Is that the one I used? Yep, that's the one I used. Uh, and then I cut it out. There's got to be an easier way of doing this, but I don't know what it is. So I'm going to cut this off at two and a half. Uh, 
and then I'm going to centre that. What did I say it measured? Some ridiculous measurement. Uh, an inch and five eighths. Oh, come on. Well, if I said an inch and a half, come on, nobody, that, that'll be fine. An inch and a half. So if I centre the three quarters up over the middle of my butterfly and cut that off there, I should be about right, I'd say. Three quarters, three quarters up through his neck. And that's not straight on the card. Mm -hmm. It's nearly straight. Come on. Stop messing around. So I'll cut that off at an inch and a half and then we should be all right. It's just to get the butterfly centred on the thing, that's all. Yeah. That's fine. That's great. And it'll just get bent over. Marvellous. And into the bargain, you get a little butterfly to decorate your pages with. So let's do that performance again. Spare little butterfly. So let's get that the antenna and the middle of his body centred up at three quarters cut that off i know you're all shouting at me i can actually hear you in one voice saying don't be so stupid you should do it this way but i don't know which way this way i get everything squared up and it makes me happy that's two so one more I'm just going to keep that because you never know. Um, I'll put that in the butterfly department. I haven't even cut it out yet. So come, on. come on. Right, okay. That I am going to let go. Now I just want three little bits of pink paper. Which you might get out of there just to cover that butterfly up. That doesn't look very central, does it? And cut the other side off. Inch and a half. Nowhere near an inch and a half. Right, come on. So just one little bit that's going to cover that butterfly. So I can cut it there. I don't know when, how long it'll take me to get used to my scissors being there. And another bit the same. Another bit the same. Right, save that. So I'm just going to stick that onto the back. Just a tad wide, wouldn't it be? It would be, yes. So I'm just going to use my glue stick. I must say, I have had some things that I have stuck with this project with the glue stick that have come unstuck. So anything that is really kind of super important, I'm not gluing with the glue stick. I'm sure it's operator error, um, but, you know, it's no good if things come unstuck. I mean, Julie gets on so well with hers that I'm thinking it's, it's just got to be something I'm doing wrong. But I don't know how wrong it can go. So this is in aid of when you um, do that, you can see it see see the color underneath not just the if you if you do it without putting that underneath you get sort of bits of the of the pattern and i don't like that really looks a bit sloppy so i'm putting some paper on and it just does away with the fact that we would ha otherwise have to put ribbons or something on the top or even twine but three lots of it hanging out the top I, I thought would just be a bit excessive 
so I, I opted for this this way of going on which um probably going to have to score that because it's really thick so what did I say that measured it measures two and a half and I want to score on the side and bending right uh, score thing thank you so one and a quarter I'm just going to score that yeah it's quite quite thick this there we go lovely job One and a quarter. Lovely. So then we just need to stick those on. And the job, as they say, is a good one. one so I'm just going to put my cosmic shimmer glue because it grabs quite quickly oh as a matter of interest Mr F uh, when he was patching up Mr Green uh, was using the Colour Bookbinders glue um, it comes in a pot very similar to the Colour ordinary stuff that we use but it says Bookbinders and he reports that it has a very fast grab and it's very strong. So that might be of interest uh, to some of you. Right, so I need to get this somewhere near the middle. Like there, for example. So stick that down and just make sure you've got this pulled firmly over the top and stick that down. Lovely. I'll just put my original card in there because every time I look up and it's not there, I have a heart attack. So let's put that in there. So it's the same with all three, just doing the same thing. This craft card is very thirsty for glue. So just beware that you probably need more than you ordinarily would use with craft card same thing just pop this over the top in the center I think they'd look quite sweet with hearts or something like that Cut out of them as well. But I think I'll be using it again, this idea again. Okay. Don't think I'd folded this one. Oh. People are liking your butterfly tab. Are they? Yeah, but you could use it with anything. It doesn't have to be butterflies. That's the joy. Like I say, you could cut out a little flower, punch out a flower, couldn't you? Or punch out a heart. Anything. Yeah, Whatever punch you've got. I've already got butterflies. <laughs> I've got circles, but that would look a bit odd. Right, so there we are. We've got our three uh, tags made for here. So let's pop those in. Excellent. So so on this one I made this it's it's not even a collage, it's just a bit of something. And it's a bit of pink paper, the word adventure, and one of the butterflies that we punched out to get that so I quite like the fact it brought it all together again so let's just have a look through my through my stuff see what I've got um I've got the word bliss quite like that oh brilliant let's put brilliant on it <laughs> let's do that 
brilliant. That's a word I use quite often, actually, brilliant. In all sorts of, oh, that's brilliant, that is. Or, oh, brilliant. Don't to myself, I use it quite a lot when you think about it. I've only ever heard the one way. Okay, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Right, I'm going to cut a bit off the bottom. That's the way it's cut out, like they want you to cut it, but uh, it looks just a bit off to me, so I'm just going to cut a bit off the bottom. Brilliant! <laughs> I wonder if I could cut the corners of that, do you think? It'd be brilliant. Round them. Might end up looking a bit like an oval, but let's give it a go. Yeah, it's going to look a bit odd. Oh no, it's looking really odd. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> I won't have anything left. Oh no, I can't do that. That's that's in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> Not so brilliant. Not so brilliant. I'm going to look. I'm going to look through my book for the the brilliant word because I've persuaded myself that's what I really need. There it is. I like that shine as well. Uh, let's, let's tear this out because you can't see what I'm messing around with. And that is what I'm doing actually, messing around. Uh, I used that blessed key on, on something already. So, no, you can't uh, round something that's this small. <laughs> so you end up with nothing left. To make it less round, it's cool by not pushing it in all the way. Oh, I suppose it could, yeah. I'm not trying it again though. Gone off the idea anyway. Right, so that's just brilliant. <laughs> oh no. It's what you get for washing. Right, so I need to take a whisker off there because I can still see the background. Um, it doesn't look square there to me. I shouldn't be let loose with a pair of scissors. Freestyling. That, that should never be the case. But it appears it is. So, right, let's have a look. No, is that hex straight? I mean, it's just ridiculous. Look at you, roller. It's not messy. I know I'm going to have to in a minute. This is my last. Left of it. This is my last attempt. No, it's, it's still <laughs> it's still not straight. Okay, so now you see why I use my my thing all the time because I'm really am rubbish at it. You've got a straight eye in your head. I have not got a straight eye in my head, but can I point out that no one does? <laughs> We'd all look really strange if we had totally flat eyes, wouldn't we? Yeah. That line's getting in my way on the board. Do you see now why it takes me so long to do things? <laughs> Because this is the way I carry on. It's madness. It's all madness. Oh, that moved. Brilliant. Brilliant. Stop saying it. Okay. I've, I've just, I just really need to get that bit off the top. Because it's spoiling the whole look of everything. Yeah, that's it now. Excellent. Marvellous. We'll, we'll call that a day, otherwise we'll just, you know, we'll have an hour of flapping around looking at the word brilliant. Uh, let's see, does it fit along there? No, not quite. Right, I'm going to get my decal edged scissors and I'm going to hold this in place. And you all know this is going to go wrong, don't you? But never mind. We'll optimistically make a start. Okay, so far so good. And I just want to cut the as little as I can off there, as little as I can off here. Lovely. See, we can do it. Right, there we are. What else did I have on the other one? I had, oh, little butterfly, and that was it. Oh, 
That was easy, went peasy, wasn't it? So let's ink up everywhere. Right, I've been plaguing your lives now for an hour and ten minutes, okay? And what have we done? <laughs> well, we've discussed my new wallpaper. Uh, we've discussed Mr. F's vaccination. <coughs> we've had a look through what paper I've got left in this part. And then Amazon kindly, for no reason I can think of, delivered me a 12 by 12 pad, which we had a look at as well. So, yeah, it hasn't been all bad. I haven't finished rabbiting yet. So let's get that stuck on there. And one of my little butterflies. I have, I've got three actually. So I could have more than one. Could have one there and one there. Quite like that. Let's do that. Okay, let's get this stuck down first. Now in olden days, as in a couple of days ago, I would have used glue stick for this but this is the pieces that it's coming off um, when I stick it onto this paper so I don't know if it's the paper that's a bit resistant to glue stick but I'm going to use my collal anyway because that way then I know I know it's stuck is everybody all right everybody uh, happy yes that's good uh, Crafty Pat says, Mrs. P, we've had a lovely time. Oh, good. Keung says, it's been amazing live. Does that mean they want me to go now? Uh, it's been amazing, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you one more thing after this, if that's all right. Obviously, you know, you're not contracted to stay. So if you want to go, I completely understand. Um, there's more exciting things to be done on a Saturday. Lynn's got to go. Uh, Lynn Morris? Uh, Griffiths. Griffiths. Well, thanks so much for joining me, Lynn. I hope you enjoyed what you saw anyway. I'm just going to stick that fairly centrally. And I hope you can join us again. We'll be back tomorrow. We will be back tomorrow. So so we're going nowhere at the minute, so don't go. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> going nowhere yet. I'm going to ink... I've lost that other butterfly, of course, but I've got a spare one here. Oh, come on. Uh, it's already inked, so he can go there. I'm just going to ink this one. Do you think inking goes very well with craft card and paper? So I'm not being too specific about this. It's just somewhere near the edge. Right. So do I like that there? Well, I believe I do. Oh, there's the other butterfly. You can go in the spares department. Yeah, I, I do like it. I'm going to use my Cosmic Shimmer for this because craft card can sometimes be a little bit awkward. As I say, it's quite absorbent of the glue. You don't want them popping off willy-nilly, do you? And this one. I think my cosmic shimmer's got a bit of a blockage situation going on. Oh, blimey, come on. Julie, our Julie, Julie Marie, is going to start an Alice... Alice's Adventures, Alice in Wonderland, Alice, Alice Journal. And I think it would be really, really interesting because it's just a departure from all the stuff, you know, the Edith Holden and the florals and the botanicals and whatever else. Um, and it'll be really interesting to see what she does with it. I cannot wait. So that's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Right, there we go. So let's fold that up and that up. What did I put on the front of here? Oh yeah, I put a... I'm going to leave that open because that might be just a little bit tacky. <laughs> Not tacky like that. Uh, and I put one of those cards, cut apart things on it. 
let's see which ones I've got left. Oh, look, it says brilliant. That's that. That's got to go in there, hasn't it? With a blanket stitch. With a blanket stitch in foil. So yeah, and I, I'm not going to mess around trying to pretend I can cut. I'm just going to do it with my uh, ruler. I'm so glad that I'm going to have a lot of these left over because they will fit in many of my uh, things that I make. Right, so let's just straighten that edge up. Let's do the other edge. There. I mean, if you're really good at fussy cutting, you could do a much, a really good job on these. Um, but two reasons. One, I'm not that good anyway. And two, I'm trying to do a live video that keeps you interested. Fussy cutting's a bit of a yawn fest, isn't it? And just chop the top off. This I am going to round the corners of. And I know it's not just going to disappear on me because I've done it with other ones and it's been all right. So. Okay. And I just want a piece of pink paper. Have to break into a new one. Oh no, I've already broken into it. Uh, that's just a little bit bigger by the looks of it. So um, where's, oh, I'll put my pencil away. Put everything away. I just want it to about there and to about there. So let's just cut that off. Cut down there first off. Did everybody who wanted to see the most exquisite journal that I uh, received this week in the post? It was a collaborative uh, journal and I've done two videos. It was in two volumes. It was beautifully collated and bound uh, by Hilda and there were contributions from lots of you and it's it's just fabulous it's an amazing amazing thing to own uh, and you know it's quite I was and still I'm actually quite overwhelmed by it it was amazing to think that you know they'd all got together sneakily <laughs> uh, under the cover of darkness and got this thing organized and saw it through to fruition it's not easy to do that i know that from when i did the collaborative journal last year um it, it's quite difficult you know a lot of people say yes they'll do it and they'll have it to by such an a date and then they don't and at the moment we've got all the problems with the post it's uh, deplorable at the moment uh things go missing things just take forever to get delivered so the fact that they did all of that for me they did it all for me i can't believe it it's incredible and i can't thank you enough i just can't there aren't words to thank you enough i'm very very grateful to you all thank you so yeah that's gonna look fine there so let's stick the uh stick this onto that and then we'll stick the two of them onto the front so if you haven't seen that, it's uh, it's on this channel, on, on the Miss Paint A Lot channel. Uh, and you'll see there's two videos, one for each volume. And it's stunningly beautiful. Each page is so personal to myself and Mr. F. And I must say, on the first sort of look through, I didn't get half of the sort of innuendos really um it was only when i looked back through it again that i really grasped the how personal it was to everyone who sent it and personal to us it's 
staggering. So thank you. You know, thank you. Thank you. Right, so that's on there. Another little tip that I've learnt from Tanya is this. Um, well, I say it's a tip I learnt from Tanya. I used to do it and then I stopped doing it. Now I see she, she's doing it, so I want to do it. Uh, just roll over that. And it's particularly good with coloured paper because, you know, it can get a bit wrinkly. So it just sort of spreads that out nicely. And stick this onto here. I'd also like this week to say a huge thank you to everybody who's, in inverted commas, bought me a coffee. Um, there's a link on my Facebook page and there's a link at the top of my YouTube channel, main header. Um, it's really kind of you. I, I so appreciate it. Thank you very much to everybody who's done that. And thanks to Jean for putting the link on the page um, so everybody could find it. Uh, I appreciate that as well. So it's been, yeah, there's been a lot going on this week. I think that's fairly straight. Just... <coughs> So there we are. That's all I did with that one. You could, if you wanted to, decorate that page. I don't think it's necessary, really. So there we are. We have two of those now. Oh, no, that one had a butterfly on. Let's just do the same with this one. It's the larger one. Wee. Yeah, I'm going to chuck that. Um, and it went on the bottom, but I think this might go on better in the top there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ink him. So all these bits of ephemera that I'm making and that you have seen me make, they will all be listed in my shop, should you wish to purchase them. And if you don't, I completely understand um, because you can probably no doubt make your own. You've watched me make them. But if you're a newbie who just wants to get started, they're nice to, nice to have. There's a shed load of glue on there, probably 300 times more than there needs to be. Give it a second to tack up a bit while I try and get the needle in here. There we go. Yeah, that's lovely. And I'm just going to put a couple of flat back pearls down the middle of the butterfly because I just can't let him go. Go out undressed. I mean, you just can't, can you? It's just not right. So let's cut the ends off of that bit. And I just want two pearls. Oh, yeah. Oh, shady. Shady used to always sleep outside. Um, well, I say sleep. He didn't actually sleep. He was a nocturnal hunter, really. Um... But he had a, a bed outside, you know, in the in the dry in the outhouse. Out, well, it's not even an outhouse; it's inside. But you could get to it through the window, and it's got a box and it's got a fleece blanket in, and you know, it's not short of anything that he needed. Uh, and he used to like that, even if you opened the door, he would still prefer to be outside. But of late, he's not liking that so much. He's getting on. He's 14, I think we worked out. Um, so he's becoming a bit of a... a bit of an old boy, really. So now we let him sleep inside every night. Um, and, but he sleeps down here. Doesn't come upstairs, although there's nothing stopping him. Um, but he doesn't come upstairs. Right, there we are. Isn't that brilliant? So we've now got two of these. So one can go in each pile of ephemera to go on Etsy. Did I put them all over there? 
Must have done. Right, okay. And there's just one more thing I quickly want to show you because it's really so quick. It's not that one. Uh, it's this one. Yeah, this is it. So I just need to get my measurements. So that's seven and three quarters plus two, nine and three quarters plus two is 11 and three quarters. I make it 11 and three quarters. Have I got any waste that's that sort of size? Say waste, it's good quality waste. No, I haven't, so I'm going to have to use uh, one of these. This is my last sheet of paper, guys. Yikes. And this looks like it's about six inches tall, I'd say, something like that. Let's just see. Yeah, six inches, okay. So I'm going to cut this across the paper. That's the right way up of the paper, so I'm going to cut it across this way. Um, at six inches. Oh, I was right the first time. So this one doesn't take long. So I won't detain you very much longer. There we go. That can go in the remnant pile. And let's just check this again just before I do anything to it. It's eight and three quarters plus two is ten and three quarters plus two is tw no that can't be right because how can I get that out of one piece of card <laughs> seven and three quarters that's why seven and three quarters plus two is nine and three quarters plus two is eleven and three quarters come on what's the matter with you so let's cut a quarter of an inch off this and then we'll have 11 and three quarters. Uh, I'll cut it off this side because it's got less foiling on it. So I just want quarter of an inch off there. Whoever said junk journaling was easy? Who said that? Right, get your scoreboard out again. And uh that's the right way up right way this way is pointing up and i need to crease it at um two okay okay where's my foldy foldy creasy thing gone here yeah at two And then again at, what's half of five, uh, I don't know. Do it again at two anyway. So that's 11 and three quarters, 10 and three quarters, nine and three quarters. And then halfway, whatever that is. What's half of seven and three quarters? It's three and a half, uh, three and seven eighths on top of two, so five and seven eighths. I'll just go through this with you again, because I appreciate that I've, um, <laughs> my maths hasn't been brilliant. So what I did was I got my sheet of 12 by 12, like that. I chopped it off at six inches across there, and put that piece to one side. I cut off quarter of an inch down this side of it. This is the top. So it's down the side, put it on my scoreboard and scored it at two inches at five and three quarters and nine and three quarters. Okay. Do you want that one more time? Yeah, sorry. What do you want? Uh, say hi to Nancy O'Rourke. Hi, Nancy. And... Fancy having two fancy Nancys. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? And Flora Feltman. Hello, Flora. That's from a, Nova Scotia in Canada. That's a very pretty name, Flora. And Nancy's from California. Ah, oh, right. California girl. California dreaming. That's all we can do. So I've got my folds, my creases in. So what I'm going to do is, as I showed you before, fold down the the line, the crease line. Just fold it in with your hands first off, and get more and more robust with it 
until it's like that you can fold it in properly this is another one that i must thank tina and tanya for um i've been stalking their channels as well as everybody else who uses 12 by 12s uh, jen says could you say, say the scoring lines once more please you always get one don't you yeah it's that jen i know it's because of the gin and tonic <laughs> the jen she and... loses it after about an hour <laughs> <laughs> the gin and tonic yeah <laughs> right get your ears out two inches five and three quarters and nine and three quarters two inches five and three quarters nine and three quarters which ostensibly gives you two inches on either side and that's in the middle write it down for a mic yeah mike can you do that can you write it down for it <laughs> uh, nancy o'rourke says she appreciates doable projects yeah so she's newish and she followed your little golden book tutorial and finished the very first journal oh well done oh that makes me so proud i'm so proud of you well done and then we're just going to score this one in the middle make sure that everything meets up that it's all nice and perfect looking fold that down with your finger first and then burnish it in lovely so there we are so what then happens is you uh, put your corner rounder to the maximum test so well mine anyway it will cut it it will chomp it off but just so there we go i mean all of these ones all of these projects that i've made with the 12 by 12s have been absolutely easily mac peasley they really have um but as nancy says they're very doable you start with a sheet of paper and you end up with something you've done and i like i like that idea a lot emily thumbron says hello from virginia hi emily virginia wow Don't from virginia before, yeah we you? did didn't we um because we said all about the blue ridge mountains and oh who else was it was it willie nelson or somebody i can't remember now uh, i think so oh yeah that's going back a that's bit. going back a bit Not willie nelson, but no it wasn't when we talked about virginia yeah so ink around your project it's easier to ink the corners when they're closed like that and down there lona's got to go and walk the dog oh fair enough lona i understand it's really nice of you to join us uh, i appreciate it enormously thank you as I appreciate everybody, honestly, I do. I don't know why you join us. I just don't, but I'm so glad you do. Uh, so you see where I'm going with this project, don't you? You see what's going on here. Nobody's ever gonna see that because it's inside the fold, you ninny. Right, is that everything? No, oh, centre seam could do with a it's not a seam, it's a crease. Do with a wee bit on it. There we go. Right. So all that happens is guess. You <laughs> just glue it. Yep. Straightforward. Oh, this is just a right mess. It's disgusting. So right round that corner. And along the bottom. Same at the top. Crafty Pat saying Laurel Nardi Blue Ridge Mountains. Yeah, no, I was thinking that. But I didn't want to say it. Because earlier, Mr F said, Laurel and Hardy, guess which one I am. So I wasn't giving him... Opportunity to say it again. Exactly that. So now you've got it sort of tacky, just press it down as hard as you can. And for you newcomers, um, the ideal thing to use for this is a dried out baby wipe. Um, 
don't use a wet baby wipe. You might get away with it on this 12 by 12 because it'll be laser printed, but on, on the stuff that you've printed yourself on your inkjet printer, it will just eat it. It'll just make it into a right inky mess uh, and you'll be cursing. So use a dry one. Uh, they're great for picking up excess glue, great for picking up anything, really. Hi, Bernice. Is she off? Yeah. Okay, Bernice, thanks so much for joining Good us. FaceTime the grandkids. Oh, lovely. That's lovely. That's a nice thing to do. So there we go. Look, we made it. You know what I mean? It's it's made. And all I did then was just cut a piece of uh, design paper. That needs black, uh, pink on the back. And then I, I took another one of those, these cutter parts, put it onto pink paper. I rounded the corners so it would fit in um, nicer into there. Um, oh, put it into, well, it doesn't matter. This is the one we've just made here. So you can see that fits in there and that fits in there. So that would be it. If you so desired, you could decorate this. With this paper, I'm really not. It's just too, it's too pretty. It would be, it'd be a travesty, actually. And that folds over and you can decorate that if you want to. Uh, on this one I did, this one, I really don't think I am. I mean, it's just so pretty. So that's kind of that. I haven't left you in the lurch because you can easily make these tags. You know, I'll give you the measurements just in case you're following along and you uh, feel a bit cast asunder. They are uh, three and just a touch light of three and three quarters. They might even be three and three quarters by five and a quarter. So I cut out the two rectangles for, for each one. I rounded those corners to match these corners in here. And then I decorated those with, it's just a piece of pink dyed paper uh, and one of the things out the, out the pad. Just centralized on there. Um, and that's it. So you, you can do that. I know, I know that you can do that. And if you've got dark on the back of yours, like I have here, I'll put some pink paper on that so you can journal on it. So there you go, guys. I think that's us. What's up, Shady? What's up? You want to go out? No. Yeah. Uh, sure you don't. But that's got the measurements going. this time. <laughs> well done, Mike. From now on, you're the designated measurement taker because you know, you know, Jen, you know. <laughs> right, I'm off. It's tea time here. Uh, well, it's 20 to 6, so it's time we thought about tea anyway. So I'll bid you adieu. I will see you tomorrow at the same time, which is the later time, 4 o'clock UK time, uh, whatever time that is with you around the world. I've really enjoyed your company today. I've loved doing these little bits. We haven't got very much done, have we, really? But we've, we've had a nice chat. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Take care. Hi, Mikey from Germany. I'm Mikey. She's saying hello from Germany. Hello, Makey, I think that is. Hi, Makey, you've just joined us right at the end, but we're back again tomorrow at four o'clock UK time. So hopefully we'll see you then. And it's nice to see some new names and faces. It is, it always is, but it's also nice to see the people that we know so well. So thanks, guys. Thank Bye. you, everybody. See you tomorrow. Take care, stay safe, be happy. Bye.